Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing something I do all the time, and that is making over my phone. So the, in order to record this video, I need to film on my old phone, which is currently charging right now, and I'm recording on my current phone. So while that phone's charging, let's go get some water because we're gonna need it for the whole process that we're about to endure. <laughs> Alright, we're back with the water. Tastes good. I'm just gonna go check on my phone and see if it's fully charged. Okay, so my old phone finally charged and now we can record this video. So, this is my iPhone. It's iPhone SE 2020. It's not the old SE from like a couple of years ago that's like really, really old. This is the newer version. So, like this model is only like two years old. It came out during the pandemic. <laughs> so, it's like somewhat recent. Um, so yeah, I got a new case for my birthday. If you saw my birthday haul, you would have known. And that's what it looks like. It's got butterflies. Super cute. Alright, so this is what my iPhone looks like. Got a black and white theme going. So I want a completely different vibe. I want a certain look and I'm going to show you guys. So on my Pinterest, I found this picture and this is kind of what I want it to look like. Like I want pictures of like objects and things like that. And then I want to have like kind of a green look going around so quickly i just need to find the background that goes with it yeah i'll go with this and i'm going to also save this and add photos so i already found a bunch of images that i want so i'm just going to save all of these really quickly <laughs> and i want it to kind of be like um kind of like tan white and green that's what i want the theme to be so i also found some pictures that i want to use as widgets not as um, phone covers and these are the ones and i think these are so cute and i think they would all look so good with this theme that i am thinking of all right so my phone now has all of these different things let's count let's see how many there's one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 right now. And I'm going to count how many I need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so 24. I just thought in my head of four apps I don't need, so now I'm just down to 20 apps. So I still need five more um, app icons to fit that bill. <laughs> that was five so now that I have all of my app icons what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from scratch so I'm going to get rid of all the apps that I thought I didn't need earlier and I am going to go through all my apps and make app icons for all of them so let's just, just start by getting rid of some of these apps that I don't want on my um, home screen anymore So now I'm going to go through all of these apps and just start making app icons. So you need the app Shortcuts. Alright, so the first one we need is Mail. We're going to go into the Shortcuts app. I already have Shortcuts made for everything, but if you don't have a Shortcut made, you just press the um, plus button, you type up a name, add action, search Open App, choose that, and then choose the app that you want, and then you just hit the little uh, three dots over here. You hit to add to home screen and then you just add it to your home screen including the picture that you want so pretty straightforward i'm just going to use the mail action that i already have so i don't have to keep remaking actions and it's a little faster because this process does take a while so let's just start making app icons i think i want my mail to be these like brown packages i think those are cute i'm gonna make settings with this butterfly for photos and 
instead of explaining every single photo, I am just going to just do the rest and not explain them all. So yeah, you're kind of just watching me change over all my photos and choosing all the different app icons for each one. Alright, so I'm going to move all of those apps over to this front screen. So right now, it looks a little strange because of the background and stuff, but it'll make sense eventually. Eventually. Alright, so now we're just going to keep adding shortcuts for the next apps. Alright, so as you can probably tell, I am just adding all the pictures to the various app icons. And I don't know if you know, but while I'm adding each new app icon, I'm putting my old app icon for that app into this folder. And then once I'm done with the folder, I'm just going to put it off to the side and then just hide it. So if you're wondering what I was doing when I was on the home screen, that's what I'm doing. And calculator, for some reason my picture didn't show up, so I'm going to try the picture again. Luckily, the calculator photo did show up the next time. I don't know why it didn't show up the first time. And now I'm just moving over a widget and I'm adding the rest of the app icons for the apps. And then literally this is it. I'm so excited to be finished. All right. So now we got all the homepage uh, app icons. I just want to rearrange these really quickly. I think that's actually pretty good. But as you might notice, the um, bottom is still the same, so I'm going to have to change all the bottoms, so Safari, phone, text messages, and stuff like that. For Safari, I'm going to do the mouse click, obviously, because it's like, you know, going on the web. This makes sense, I'm just using logic here. So now I'm going to move this over to um, my hidden page that has all of my uh, bookmarks. Because I don't like to delete the bookmarks because I ever do want to use them again. I literally can just access them all and then I can bring them back. If I delete the bookmarks, I have to re-add them. So if I ever want to use them again, and I use the whites often, so that's important. I just leave them there. That's a good hack. So yeah. All right, so now that we've done the hard part, which is changing all of those uh, app icons, we're going to start making it actually look like it by changing the wallpaper and the widgets. And I'm also just going to get rid of this page, just to remove that widget, and I'm going to hide this page. If you want to hide pages, all you have to do is um, go into the editing mode where you can move your, um, uh, where you can move your apps, and then click down at the bottom at the dots. And then you just unselect that page. So I have a few pages unselected, and it's nice because if you have a page that you kind of still like, you can just unselect it instead of completely changing it. And then if you want to go back to it later, you can just reselect it. So yeah, that's nice. And now there's no there's no page there, and I just have two pages, which is super minimalistic. So now let's go into settings, and we're going to change the wallpaper. So obviously you're going to go down to a wallpaper now going to choose your wallpaper that you want please and you're gonna hit set and I'm just gonna do my home screen oh my gosh it's so cute I love it all right so now that we have that we're gonna start changing up the widget so it actually looks like the real thing and all you need is the app widget smith it's free and it comes on the app store if you want to add a widget you hit add small widget or whatever size you prefer, and then you can adjust anything. You can make it um, have text, you can make it tell the time, you can do, make it do so many things. You can just choose a photo, which is what I like to do. So when you wanted to choose a photo, you just do photo, which is the default option. You go down to select a photo, choose your photo that you want, and put it on. And then you can also alter it a little bit. 
And then once you're done, you go back and then you hit save and then you have it. There you go. So I'm just going to edit the existing ones so it just immediately shows up on my home screen. Actually, I don't think I want this to be my middle picture. I'm going to change it. And this is all like um, kind of guessing. It's all like a big guessing game. You might end up liking something in a certain spot and you might end up not. So you're really going to have to just play around with it and know that you're not going to get the design that you want first try. You're going to have to kind of work with it a little bit. And if you want to change a certain widget to a different widget, all you have to do is press and hold, hit um, edit widget, and then you choose the number that corresponds with that widget. If you want to add a widget, it's pretty simple. You just edit the home screen, hit that plus button in the corner, go down to widget smith, and then choose the widget that you want to add. It looks like this center widget is actually um, something different so it's like a reminders list so that's what I'm gonna do edit the home screen press the plus button and go down to the reminders app I'm gonna get rid of this one Alright, so this is it. Super cute. I'm just going to blur out what my actual to-do list things are, but that is looking so good. Now I'm just going to edit the other widgets again. Just continue. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have the little house down there. I'm going to make this one the um, come as you are one. I'm going to change this time to be the correct color scheme, so I'm going to go over here. Alright, so I'm just going to change this widget up top here. Yeah, I think that's cute. I like that. Wow, okay, so it's done. Now let's just do a quick tour of my phone. Oh my freaking gosh, you guys. This is so aesthetic. I'm in love. So the home screen did not change. I mean, my last screen did not change at all. It's my 2020 vision board, and it's up on my website if you want to check it out. Um, all right, so when you open in, there's a super cute cat widget up here. There's a little, like, hardcore house down here. And then in the center, we have my to-do list. Then we have um, various apps. So we have settings, mail, photos, camera, weather, clock notes, calendar, and then those all kind of have a white background so they match the white background which is like just kind of white with like some vines coming on the sides. And then there's a mouse click for Safari, there is a um, phone for phone, a little green ribbon for messages, and then there is Instagram. Next one we have this kind of like swirl, like mesmerizing thing up here. We have the time, we have another widget. And then we have Maps, Voice Memos, FaceTime, App Store, Reminders, Calculator, Google Drive, and Schoology. And now I only have two pages, which is super nice, instead of three, super minimalistic. And then I just have the app library over here, so it's just the same. And then if we go over to the other side, we have a widget up here, which is super cute. Then I have the date, weather, and screen time. And yeah, that's my phone, and it's super cute, and thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye!